outplayed. That's how that's how I'll phrase it. Outplayed. PSG were outplayed from the first minute to the 90th minute. Outplayed, outcoached, outmuscled, everything. It was a, today it was a it was an Arsenal masterclass, defensive masterclass, Arteta masterclass. Arsenal were the better team today. Um, there's no two ways about it. The 2 0 scoreline is not it's not a flattering scoreline. It's a true um reflection of the nature of the game. I think Arsenal yeah, were definitely deserved winners today. And that's that. Um from the PSG perspective, I'll, I guess I'll get the one point from their perspective uh, out of the way is, is the penalty. I personally think that there's a there's a handball there on Calafiori. I don't get how if especially now that we're hearing that the 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 Kukurea handball from the Euros against um between Spain and Germany, how that was given or should have now been a handball, but that this Calafiori one where his hand is clearly not within the natural form of his body, that's not given as a handball. But again, even if it's given as a handball and it's a penalty and we score two one, I don't think it changes the game massively. Um, but that's that point out there. Speaking more broadly about the game, obviously the big headline, I guess, coming into it was the dropping of of Usman Dembele. And well, now obviously with the benefit of hindsight, you're looking back and he, he could have said this before the game, but his presence was missed definitely greatly. Would he have made a massive difference? Would he have caused species to win? Who knows, but he certainly would have um, weighed positively and, and made a difference in a positive light for PSG um, and his um, unpredictability and cap capability to destabilize the defense was greatly missed today. Um, and what I'm hoping for is whatever the reason, the the disciplinary reason was for, for, for dropping him, it better be a good one because it can't be some with some small little spat, a small little disagreement that causes us to to miss our, our greatest player. But if it was truly some tr true choice words or something serious that happened, then okay, fair enough, Lucho's the coach. But yeah, getting on to Lucho today, he just got everything wrong. The tactics, the lineup. The lineup wasn't the worst, but um, again, starting Desiree Doué in a massive Champions League game, the first start, his first start in the Champions League away at the Emirates. I, I think I think the occasion was a bit too big for him. And, you know, you don't want to get on him too much. He's only 19 years old. But again, that's what happens. You, I mean, we're also injured. Whatever problems from this game are that we don't have a number nine. Well, we do have a number nine, but he's, he's currently injured. And we decided not to go out and buy another number nine because Lucho was happy with the squad and was happy with the, the squad depth and, and how big it was and so on and so forth. So, okay, from Lucho's perspective, you go and you say, okay, that's great and all. If if he feels that the squad is good, then by all means. But at the same time now, it means that we can be a lot more critical when things don't go um, the way that we wish it. And today, this game, I think I'll, I'll huge, huge part and a huge burden of the responsibility falls on the way on, on the shoulders of, of Luis Enrique. Um, he just got tackled out class, even when PSG, the PSG could not get out of in that first half specifically. Arsenal's press was was well, it worked to to great effect. They could play the ball out of the back a bit, but as soon as Arsenal pressed, they, they run out of options. They have to go long. And because they don't have an out and out, you know, target man, somebody who, who can hold up the play, it goes astray and 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 that's it. Compare it um, on the other side, you have Arsenal with Kai Havertz, who is doing it, you know, to, to great and tremendous effects. And yeah. <laughs> That's it. The the thing I'd say for PSG is it's it's a reality check. Um, we're a young team, a team that um is gonna have to go through some growing pains. Obviously, being PSG, you can't necessarily just go and have a quote unquote rebuild phase and have the expectations of a rebuild phase. You're still PSG. You're still expected to go and to dominate your league and to to make it at minimum, you know, quarterfinals of Champions Leagues. Um, and also at the same time, I think it's important to not go in and um, you know, uh fan the flames too much to uh too much as well arsenal for all the banter i give them one arsenal is a good team arsenal is one of the best teams in europe at the moment and so um obviously it's a terribly disappointing loss and more so in the manner that in which you lost in which you were just completely outclassed the entire game um but again it's not the end all be all um it's you're not out you're not fighting for your position to to, to remain in the champions league there's still many games to come um and you tell me before that you would have lost away at Arsenal. As, as disappointed as I may be, it's not a, a quote unquote um, shock of a result. Yeah, I think it's it's a wake up call. Um, they'll have to, from PC perspective, you take the benefits you you learn from this experience and and you move forward. Um, 
another big massive thing and that pissed me off in the live stream was the fact that we can see the two goals that you do concede it's not like it's some you know intricate you know tiki taka play from arsenal the first goal um these are is late is it's a lousy challenge can't get through nobody presses on trussard floats the ball no one's marking havertz and it's a it's a f fine finish in, by havertz in the end fair in, in, in fairness to him but again way too easy from psg's perspective and then the second goal is just just boils my blood the fact that you're playing arsenal arguably the best and we're missing the best team currently in europe at the moment in terms of set plays and you allow them to go and to score some scruffy balls shot nobody touches it goes on goes on goal and it's scored it's just and psg knowing that psg that is our biggest weakness to concede another set piece goal is just infuriating and at some point it's when are we going to learn because apparently from psg's perspective lucho doesn't doesn't practice them he doesn't feel the need to go into to to, well, to train them defensively, offensively, whatnot. And well, it was costly today. And who knows, maybe if that they don't score that second goal, it's 1-0. Maybe you can get back into the game, so on and so forth. So it's just annoying. It's just annoying today. Lucha got everything wrong. The the Dembele thing, um, we'll have to wait and see what happens from that. Um, and yeah, today just, just got outplayed. Lost, plain and simple. There's no two ways about it. And hopefully we'll be able to bounce back in this, who's our next game, PSV at home. From the looks of it, it's now starting to become, you sort of got to win the games that you're expected to win. And then the games against the big teams, your cities, Bayerns, um, Atletico, you try to get as, as good of a, as, as a result as you can get. And most likely, you know, you try to hope for, for, for top eight, but again, it's not, it's not a great result, but it's just disappointing. It's just disappointing. It's not even like, I'm not even like, you know, furious at rage. It's it, it's just with the Tabelli thing, how things went, PSG had all the ball, all the position they want, doesn't mean anything. They had, I think what ended up with like 60% possession, even with that, Arsenal had more shots on target, had more opportunities, had higher XG, everything, more shots, even that second half in which PSG had like probably close to like 70% possession, Arsenal still in that second half probably created the best opportunity of the game with that's first our chance. So again, meaningless sterile possession doesn't mean anything. And that was always my big concern with Lucho is that, okay, it's great that you have the ball and whatnot. You have really nice technical players, but if you can't put the ball in the back of the net, all that is for naught. So yeah, many things to learn from. Um, don't want to go in and start, you know, calling for, you know, crisis and, you know, Lucho out and whatnot, but um, it's, it's one where we need to learn from it. And that's that. So with that, thank you to everybody who was on the stream. Thank you to everybody who watched. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you very much. And remember, stay safe, stay kind, stay blessed. Godspeed.